Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up our environment. Uh, we'll just need to install some programs and different things. You may already have some of these installed and that's totally fine. Uh, the first one we'll install is Sublime Text and Sublime Text is a text editor for uh, coding. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to see things. You may already have a, a different text editor installed or something you like better like Visual Studio Code or Atom. That's totally fine. Um, I'll just be using Sublime Text. So start off, we'll just go to Sublime Text website. Uh, it's just sublimetext.com. And then there's this download button up at the top. You just click that, it takes you to this page. And you just click on the link corresponding to your operating system. I'll do Windows 64-bit. Uh, so you install it, you just open up the, the installer, obviously, and hit next through all these finish. Now we can open up Sublime Text. And this is what it looks like. Um, pretty simple. Uh, but depending on the file type, it'll change the colors, the syntax highlighting. Um, the next one we'll install is called Postman. And I think, yeah, so the website is just postman.com slash downloads. Um, so we'll just click download the app and what Postman is, it will let us test our endpoints. We'll be able to send uh, HTTP requests to our server and we'll see what data is coming back. So let's we'll make sure you know, everything's working. We'll see what our app actually does. Great, so once it installs, uh, you'll just have to create a, an account or you can click this link down here, skip and go to the app, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, and I'll get into how to use this later. So for now, just keep it in the background. Uh, the next thing we'll install is called SQLite Browser. And so this is what's gonna help us. Uh, we can view our data in our database, kind of like uh, a table using Excel or Google Sheets. Um, and so if you just hit the download link up here and you can click again, whatever corresponds to your app. I think there's a Mac OS version down here. Um, I'm gonna do the standard installer for 64-bit Windows. And we don't have to open that right now. Uh, let's see, the next one we'll do is, so we're gonna install Git. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more what Git is uh, in case you haven't heard of it, but if you just Google search Git, it's the first one just called Git, G-I-T. Um, and so go ahead, open that, click Downloads, okay, click on your operating system and it'll install it or it'll download it, sorry, and then click on the, the package. Just hit next through all these. Um, I think for most of these, we can just do the, choose the defaults. Um, yeah, this is totally fine. Just defaults, hit install. Uh, the next thing we'll install is uh, a Git GUI. This one's optional. Um, if you prefer using the command line, that's totally fine. I'm gonna use a Git GUI called source tree. There's others out there. If you wanna use one of those, that's fine. Uh, so just type in source tree, uh, the website's sourcetreeapp.com. Click on the download link. And once it installs, open that up like normal. Okay, so it's gonna take you through some of these. I think you can just hit skip if you don't wanna register. Um, I'm not gonna install Mercurial. We already have Git installed, so that's good. Uh, we don't need these advanced options, so I uncheck Merc Mercurial. And then here, just your email address.
No, this isn't signing up for anything, so don't worry. It's, they're not going to use your email address for anything. It's just in case uh, you share your project with someone else and they have issues with something you did, they, they know where to, how to contact you. Next, I'm going to go no on the SSH key. And here's source tree. Um, again, I'll go into depth on what this is later. If you haven't created a GitHub account, go ahead and do that now. Uh, just go to github.com and hit sign up. Create your account. It'll walk you through it. Once you've created your account, you can head over. I'm going to put this link in the, in the description, but uh, head over to the, the repo for this project. Just github.com slash mjrinker slash pokedex dash api and uh, these are this has the basic steps that we're going to be going through this readme file here but the main reason we want this right now is because of the pokedex db file um, so you can clone you can clone this code if you want um, or just create a new uh, github repository or git repository but we do want to download this pokedex db so you just open that and then hit download here. And then you, know, you, you can move this to wherever you want. Uh, I'll move it later. OK, and the last thing we need to install is Node.js. Uh, so if you already have it installed, that's fine. Uh, I think in the readme I put version 10 or higher works. I'm actually going to go ahead and say you want the latest uh, the latest, the LTS version. Um, and so if you go to nodejs.org, you can click on whatever version says LTS. Uh, for me right now, it's 14.16.0. So I'm going to download that and open that. Uh, if you don't know what Node.js is, it's just a, a platform that lets you run JavaScript on your computer. Normally, a JavaScript is, is made to run in a browser. Uh, that's how that's what most uh, websites are built off of is JavaScript, but this one will run directly on our computer. Okay, and that's it. That's it for installing all our programs. In the next video, I'm going to go through um, setting up our environment, uh, setting up our repository, setting up Node.js, our Node.js project. Um, so see you then.